The administration's take, Julie, is that they are squeaking by the death spiral threat and that they think by March they can get the numbers they need? Right. They feel like even though they missed their target for the young invincibles that need to sign up for this program, that they have reached a level where the program would be sustainable even if it stayed here through March. You know, to Tucker's point, when you have people who are older, who are sicker, who are signing up, you can understand why those are the first people who want to get into a marketplace when they have health insurance available, either with a subsidy or, or insurance for the first time. But you can't have a program like this that is sustained on a vast majority of those people alone. Eventually, we will need to see young, healthy people getting into this marketplace, even if it's at the end of March. But eventually, they have to come to the table and participate. Otherwise, all of the premiums will be restructured by insurance companies by the end of this year. They do not have to come to the table and participate. They can go on strike. The Obamacare always has counted on the mass irrationality of young people. Now, normally, that's a good bet. But in this case, it's not so. <laughs> For two reasons. First, the analogy to Massachusetts is all wrong. For two reasons. First, the youth today, as opposed to when Romney Care went into effect, are the principal sufferers from the Obama economy. They're just not feeling prosperous. Second, Romney Care did not instantly become a byword for incompetence, as this has done. So the young people who are A, suffering economically, and B, recoiling from what they see as people who can't run a website are not going to come in and come to the table.